Welcome to the Weekly Lead. I'm Pastor Becky Tirabasi, and every week I want to encourage you to be a leader in your sphere of influence. Will you join me for this week's message? How many of you have ever read scripture out loud to someone else? Well, in a funny way, today as I read 2 Timothy, a letter from Paul to his mentee, whom he loved dearly, he wrote what I have used in the book, The Burning Heart Contract, A 21-Day Adventure in Prayer, Purity, and Purpose, as the anchor to a call to holiness and purity that Paul gave to his young leader. And with great affection, Paul spoke these words. Paul Paul spoke them, wrote them, and Timothy read them. And this letter remains a letter that any mentor could read to the young leaders whom he loves. The Weekly Lead podcast is something that I have continued for a few years now with the hope and expectation that I would raise up leaders who would pray in their sphere of influence once a week with each other for our nation and read the Bible daily. So I'm putting it all together for this week's podcast. I'm going to read 2 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 21 and encourage you to listen to them as someone Uh, like myself, is sending you this letter, these words, encouraging you and emboldening you to become the men and women God has asked you to become in a world that needs uh, leaders who will love his word, each other, and pray for God's will to be done. Paul begins writing, And he says, my dear son. So put your name here. My dear friend, be strong in the grace that God gives you in Christ Jesus. You have heard me teach things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Now, teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. Endure suffering along with me is a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. And athletes cannot win the prize unless they follow the rules. And hardworking farmers should be the first to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Think about what I'm saying. The Lord will help you understand all these things. Always remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of David, was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach. And because I preach this good news, I'm suffering and have been chained like a criminal. But the word of God cannot be chained. So I am willing to endure anything if it will bring salvation and eternal glory in Christ Jesus to those God has chosen. This is a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny who he is. Remind everyone about these things and command them in the presence of God to stop fighting over words. Such arguments are useless, and they can ruin those who hear them. Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. Avoid worthless, foolish talk that only leads to more godless behavior. This kind of talk spreads like cancer, as in the case of Hymenaeus and Philetus. They have left the path of truth, claiming that the resurrection of the dead has already occurred. In this way, they have turned people away from the faith. But God's truth stands firm, 
like a foundation stone with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are his and all who belong to the Lord must turn away from evil. In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions and the cheap ones are for everyday use. If you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master to use for every good work. I want to encourage you as I did the first day I began the weekly lead podcast. I had a desire that 100,000 people would read the Bible daily and pray together weekly with their sphere of influence. I'm just about to begin my 40th year of reading the Bible daily. I will probably have gone through the entire Bible over 38 times by January or February. I spent one hour in prayer for almost 40 years since 1984, February 18. It has changed my life. Every weakness God has exposed during that hour, every hope God has fanned a flame on and encouraged during that hour. And I would tell you, I still wait to see God work in our nation in such a way that men and women would love him with all their hearts, read the word of God daily, and pray each week with others in their sphere of influence that God would be glorified, that God would heal, that God would be heard, that God would be the one, as as he says he is in, uh, let's see, is it... Psalm 89, he says, Is there anyone as mighty as you? The psalmist says, No, O Lord, you are entirely faithful. Powerful is your arm. Strong is your hand. Your right hand is lifted high in glorious strength. Part of my routine is to pray that hour by talking to God and listening to God. I listen to God by using a special edition of the one-year Bible called the Change Your Life Daily Bible. And what is that? It's a way to read through the entire Bible in a year in just 15 minutes a day. Passages from the Old Testament, New Testament, a psalm and a proverb daily. There is no other name that can give you hope that can heal your heart, that can expose the lies and prove himself true than the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Will you take to heart Paul's letter to Timothy as if it is from me to you, asking one more time, would you open the Bible daily? Would you rally your sphere of influence to read the Bible daily with you. Start a group text and then pray for each other and our nation once a week, online or in person. I know God will bless you. I know God will use you. God is calling you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. I hope you've been encouraged by this message and I hope you join me weekly for the Weekly Lead Podcast. Meanwhile, follow me daily on Instagram. The link is in the bio with everything you need to become a weekly 